we are back here in early access to continue testing out the weapons in high power pack but before we do that i've done a little experimenting with the loadouts and i do have to say i'm quite impressed here so i've made my testing 1 to 12 loadout and as you can see it is all filled out through the actual hotkeys when we actually switch to another loadout which obviously we're going to go with the Brahunga one the hotkeys actually save which is fantastic i was actually worried that you may have to put everything back in the slot that you want but they save which is really really cool and really well thought out but we're gonna go back to the Verhunga loadout obviously we have the 338 the 7 mil and the 308 again and we're gonna see how it does on the map that's probably got the most big game animals and high weapon class animals in the entire game and it's looking like we actually could take the beginning of this hunt in a couple different directions we've got both wildebeest and lion here and I believe with this update, the spook range should have actually been reverted to what it used to be. So, in theory, if we shoot this lion, the wildebeest won't spook. And we might as well go ahead and test that. So, we'll go 338 on the lion. He's in the area of 200 meters. So, when he kind of stands back up, we'll try to take a look at how the 338 does on that. Which, when you hard shot him, it does pretty good. We also don't hear any thunderous stampeding. And while the wildebeest are alert, they're not taken off. So the question is, are they alert due to the gunshot or something else? They are going back attentive, so I'm actually thinking it was the gunshot, which is interesting. But we hit that guy with the 7 mil, and he's going down pretty good and quick as well. So looking good so far out here on Verhunga. And I really want to test with like Cape Buffalo and Lion. Both the 338 and the 7 mil. If we kind of end up neglecting to use the 308 very much, I apologize for that, but I find the 338 and 7 mil to be the most intriguing of the three. Now, as for the lion, we pretty much know what happened. Double lung and heart, and I mean, we're basically almost at the outer edge of the far side lung, 200 meters away. I mean, they're not quite to the extent of a buffalo, but a class 9 animal punching through to double lung and beyond definitely not a bad deal the wildebeest is laying right here as well i think it maybe ran 50 meters or something like that i do want to take a look at the quick kill because that'll be something to maybe compare with the 308 double lung at 250 meters quick kill of actually 100 percent hard to compare if you end up at 100 but we can try that maybe next one we see they should be drinking for another like 30 real minutes so maybe that's the first thing we do go and try a similar shot distance with the 308 and see if it does the same and i would say that guy should make for a decent comparison now you may be wondering why i'd expect the 308 to do about as good as the 7 mil and that's because when you compare the ammo stats the 308's better the penetration of the 308 is 44 and the expansion's 13 for the 7 mil it's 40 penetration and 12 expansion so in theory it should be right up there with it and i want to see if that's actually the case so Walking back to right about 250 meters, and we'll try to make that exact same shot. Double lung, no other organs or bones hit, and should be the same distance, and just kind of see how it does. I think that's going to be the same, and it's going down pretty fast. It's going to be comparable at least, if not the same. Now, before we pick it up, I am in no way advocating for the 7 mil to be dropped to 4 to 8. If anything, maybe the 308 could be risen to 4 to 9. The question is though, does it end up being the same? The distance is almost identical, double lung, no shoulder blade, any of that, and a quick kill of 94%. So I guess the 7 mil actually is a little bit better, at least, you know, on World of Beast at 250 meters. That's interesting, and I believe it was actually on one of these recent streams revealing the high power pack. Jax the Beard said that most of the ballistics are due to the ammo stats, the guns themselves aren't that important to it, but obviously there's a little bit in there. Otherwise, I mean, what we just saw couldn't be the case. And while that stuff is important, this is the kind of thing that I'm really thinking of that we'll be spending most of our time on Verhunga doing today. Shooting things like Cape Buffalo with both the 338 and the 7 mil. So I'd like that brown fur type one to stand up. Getting him attentive so he should. Alert will definitely do it. And we'll see what kind of angle we can get. I wouldn't mind some kind of off angle. Something like this would be sort of preferable, though maybe not head on. Let's just see. That's a tough shot to get with any weapon anymore. Actually, and it did quite well. The penetration is going to be really interesting. And 
I mentioned at the end of the last video, I'm a lot more optimistic about this high power pack now, having seen that it seems that Moose are just absolute tanks, because you would expect if it struggles on Moose, it may struggle on Cape Buffalo and Water Buffalo, but for both of those species now, it's just tearing through them. The actual hit was here, and he's laying just up there. Now he didn't run in a straight line, so it's, it wasn't a distance of 40 meters that he covered, but maybe 60 or so at max. A single long shot at about 120 meters or so, I wouldn't expect to get full quick kill anyway, but it must have been pretty close. It was left long at 130, and 62% quick kill, so it was a little lower than I thought. But even still, like I said, not something we'd actually expect to get full quick kill there. And it did pretty decent, like it's not like it stopped right at the front of the lung, it's well through it. That then begs the question, what about double lung on a Cape Buffalo? And I'm pretty sure the answer sounds something like this. Should be a long shot, we did keep that pretty high, kind of on purpose. And he's going down, I would say similarly quickly, so may have been single lung again. And the reason I sort of purposely put that shot up high is that something happened with Cape Buffalo quite a while back, maybe a year ago by now, where it seemed like they were made just a little bit tougher. And those high lung shots, oftentimes things like the 300 weren't even getting penetration to get the lungs. So I wanted to see how it would do with that. And then we'll try one lower in the lungs and go to the 7 mil a bit. But that was single lung indeed. And actually that's kind of what you would see. Compared to the shot earlier, there's nowhere near as much penetration, and there's just something with those higher shots. That's pretty typical. This is probably a little less than ideal, but this buffalo is trying to walk off, so we'll try to go low in the lungs, and just kind of behind the shoulder. I feel like that must have been close, and he's going down, but I don't know that it's any more quickly than what we had before. He definitely didn't go all that far, but it felt like it would have been single lung, and it actually was, 119 meters, and we were kind of far back, but much lower down in the lungs, and it still did penetrate through a lot more. If we place that shot just right, I think it would be doable, but you can definitely see the difference between the high shots and the low shots, and I don't want to focus too much on that right now. I mean, whether or not we can get a double lung on a Cape Buffalo isn't necessarily the point, so we'll try to make sure we use the 7 mil a bit on some of the Class 9 animals, and maybe whatever else we run into, we can decide depending on the species. And at least in theory, one of the kind of attributes of the 7 mil should be its accuracy and flat trajectory, so we're looking about 300 meters of this lion, and we'll see if we can drop this into the heart. That should be about right. Definitely not a hard shot. So then the question is, does it end up single lung? Now he's probably at some stage going to end up just standing there, and it was single lung. We were maybe a little bit to the left. For the sake of getting him down, we'll hit him one more time, and now that dropped him. That will be interesting, because I, I don't know what we would have hit, and I don't think he was close enough to expiring that just a hit would have taken him the rest of the way down. So it's going to be interesting to see what actually happened on that second shot, because I guess he was in the water, I don't actually see the blood. And it was Spinal Cord, he, he ducked to run there? So I guess that actually makes sense. The first shot was too far left. I kind of felt we took the shot just like a tick early. When you hold your breath, there's a bit of like a up into the right arc. So if we just let that go a little longer, I think we would have hit him in the heart. I'd like to actually try that again. So this is one of the better lakes now, but there's plenty of places to encounter lions. I bet we can find a spot. The one problem I see here is that none of these lions are actually facing us, but we'll try our best to line this up. I was curious too if the estimated distance on the spotting info would actually be random and I think it is it doesn't seem like it would be like right in the middle which is good because I wouldn't want it to tell you exactly what the distance should be but we're looking at like 280 here it's about as good as we're gonna do with the reeds and we'll see if we can make this happen we are not exactly stable but when he stands back up we'll try to slot that into the heart that's how we got it not bad I'm pretty impressed. I gotta say too, this reload animation is really nice, and it's not just the animation. We'll actually fire this last shot off into the distance, and just reload. One of the things I like is the sound. It's just not overdone, and a lot of hunting games and games with guns in general, 
oftentimes, like, the reload sounds are way overdone, and to some degree they need to be, because there's the remove perspective of playing a game, but I just love that it's not super loud, super mechanical sounding, because realistically, usually it's not. As for the lion, though, in some ways I feel like it's a, an odd test, because we know the seven-man break would have been capable of doing that, but you still, I guess, gotta make sure everything is in line, and here, 287 meters, double lung, and heart with the 7 mil bolt action. I like it. Does a pretty good job. Everything from the looks of it, the animations, obviously the way it performs. It's it's gonna be a mainstay in, I think, a lot of loadouts. And gotta say, too, that Medved uh, netting spray really fits it. And so, finally, it's time to try to take a Cape Buffalo with the 7 mil now. The shot angle that we get will be very important as to what actually happens here, but if he'll just kind of turn back broadside, we'll try to make the shot quickly into the chest cavity. I do want to go for a male, because while there's no true size in the game, the male models are generally bigger than the female models, and I think that probably would be relevant for things like penetration. I don't know for certain, but that would seem to reason that we want to make sure we're shooting what would be the biggest model for the species that we're going after. So. That is most certainly not the one we shot. I guess he must be lagging behind, or that already went down already. It is Vital Blood, which of course we would expect from the 7 mil. And you know, frankly, I don't know that he went a lot farther than ones that we shot with the 338, unless somehow we got a double lung shot, which wouldn't be what I'd expect. The 338 has a penetration stat of 45, whereas the 7 mil has 40, and Obviously, we looked at that earlier when we shot the Wildebeest, but that's a pretty significant difference. It was a single lung. Quick kill of 45%. I mean, that's actually really good. I think the one earlier was 60-something with the K-Buffalo and the 338. Different angle, but still. Kind of impressive, and actually, kind of sounds like we might get one more chance with that. That's an okay one. Level 7 and max weight estimate. If we can't, that's funny how they're doing that. I don't remember them slowing down before. I want to go for, like, a lower lung shot, just to see what we can do. We could even go 338 and see if we can get double lung, but I don't think this is a situation where it's that relevant, so if we can get the opportunity, that's not bad. Definitely easily into a lung, for the sake of it. We'll hit him one more time and just try to get him down quicker, and also try to not get run over. And the main reason I was actually kind of impressed there... Wait, how did we miss the second shot? That I don't get, but this shot wasn't incredibly low and kind of was through the leg. I suppose we might actually get our chance with the 338 after all, so we didn't get to look too in-depthly into that, but that did pretty solid. So the odds that we can get this lined up just right to get a double lung shot are probably not all that good, but... Well, okay. <laughs> Still attempt it. What did we just do? Heart and right lung. Doesn't appear as if we hit the heart, but obviously we did. You know, that could be a little bit of what contributes to those higher lung shots looking like they don't get as much penetration. Maybe it's better than it actually shows. Gotta give the 338 credit where it's due, though. That did a pretty decent job. Again, was it a fluke there? The shot itself was, but the gun performing that well? I don't think it's a fluke. We've seen it do really well out here on Verhunga Savannah, and again, I'm much more encouraged by that than I was initially with its performance on Moose, so... I definitely think it's going to be interesting continuing to test these weapons over the next couple of days. Kind of seeing how they do on some other stuff, because we've seen the biggest game now, Cape Buffalo and Water Buffalo. But I maybe want to focus a bit on the 308 and 7 mil in places we might expect to use those. But on that note, that's going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.